Today, we will continue to talk about our momentum strategy and make it even simpler. I want to go over things and examine trade recaps. I'll go over three great trade examples which you will love. You will see that nothing complicated. If you are ready, let's start. Today, I want to focus on a very simple, actually extremely simple version of how I trade momentum coins. I want to make things crazy simple for you. Momentum trading is all about the trading the power in the market, but nothing else. An imbalance pushes the asset and it makes a new high with a break. Then it pulls back, then it is pushed up again and again. So what do we expect? We expect a new possible high in the market. Crazy simple idea. During the pullback, what do we look for? First of all, we observe the imbalances. If they hold or fail. Once I see failing imbalances, I understand that the inner pullback trend may change. Secondly, looking for a market structure break Another way of confirming the trend shift. In the final step, looking for new imbalances with the trend direction to enter. I do not know any other way to explain. So, let's talk about three trades I've taken based on this concept. Let's check the panel, the top gainer of the day. What do you see here? Tell me. A crazy upflow but nothing else. Price keeps making higher highs, keep pushing upwards, creating new break-off structures. While it's doing that, it generally uses its imbalances to push the price up. Remember, it does not have to use imbalances. Sometimes imbalances will stay empty, never touched. It means that even more powerful momentum so, I've taken this trade around this area. Let's drop to the 15 minutes and take a closer look. Price is pulling back into this 15 minute imbalance and plus the overall SR Philip area. Around this stage, we sit and wait for possible entry. Let's check the 5 minutes for an even finer entry point. In the 5 minute time frame, you can see that trend changes here and this large imbalance fails. MSP and imbalance fail, indicating to me that the trend is changing here. Then I check for possible entry points. There are 3 points of imbalance. This is where the people get confused a lot. Which one to choose? Here's your answer. No one knows and no one ever will know. All we do is educated guesses and risk management. In here, I jump to trade with POI 3 imbalance top. While my stop was covering POI 2 for further pullback. If this trade were to fail, I would use the POI1. Remember, POI1, POI2 or POI3 may work or not. No one knows it for 100%. We divide the risk and take our chances. Let's check the GTO USDT. Let's first try to understand what is really happening here. Price tops this mega 4 hour imbalance and pushes up so fast. This counter imbalance fails. What does this tell me? In higher time frames, this coin gained momentum upwards. Let's drop to the 30 minute chart and talk more. As you can see, a mini 30 minute trend starts here. 
trying to take out these liquidity points. First of all, notice this failed imbalance, first sign of trend change in 30 minutes. Then the price keeps pushing upwards and upwards by using its imbalances. We will look at this point, at this area. Let's see. Remember, GTO was the top gainer of the day. I have noticed that this 5 minute imbalance area was holding very well. This was a possible point of push. Plus, I have noticed this support and resistance flip area here. This is how I made an entry here. Nothing complicated, we just follow the momentum. Lastly, I want to talk about Bell USDT. Actually, I only paper traded this because it was not listed on my broker to trade. However, I consider myself as I have traded this because this is a very, very nice example. Again, the same stuff. Momentum pushed this coin up and up. It all starts with the imbalance failing here and price gaining momentum towards upwards and making new highs. It keeps filling up. This was the great place to trade. Bell was the number one momentum gainer of the day. Let's drop to the 5 minutes and check further. Notice these two 5 minutes imbalances as possible points of interest areas to enter the trade. Can you find any better area to analyze? Yes, any time frame under 5 minutes will make you analyze in more detail. Drop to the 1 minute chart. Notice the order block right here in the 1 minute chart and how the structure shifts, plus the failing imbalances that followed by the momentum imbalance. Great signs of trend change. You can jump to this trade with a market order, no fear. Just make your stop loss to cover the imbalance. You already know all this stuff repeated like thousand times. I hope that this video makes things even more clear. What I do is not complicated. However, seeing all this requires daily practice. Okay, people, take care of yourself and see you in the next video. If you have completed the free trading course and feel like you improved your trading skills, but you need more, an extra, a boost, and you want to move to the next level in your trading life, my master class is ready for you. You'll learn liquidity, inefficiencies, and structure mastery deeply. And we will look at forward and reverse trading with momentum super boxes. You will learn how to confirm your entries with magic alignment system. Finally, you'll discover a strategy called yo-yo strategy, which will open new doors for you about taking and managing trades. If you are interested, you can find links on my website on the description. Take care friends, manage your risks and stay safe.